who is going to stop you other than yourself? That's my other real talk video for the day. Who is going to stop you other than you? You know, I hear a lot of people complaining, talking about other folks. I learned in this life, there's a lot of people that walk the walk, but then like there's so many others that's just talking. And then I learned that there's so many that's trying to talk other people into doing what they want them to do. And then I learned that it's just some people, they ain't going to do nothing at all. But my question is, who is going to hold you back? other than you. A lot of people are so scared to fail. Well, it just wasn't for me, bro. I knew it wasn't going to work. A lot of people are still hanging around the same old folk that keep them down. My question to you is, why are you still hanging around them? Why are you still listening to them? Why do you even still have them in your phone contact list? Because all they're going to do is say the same thing. And if they're not doing nothing in their life, they're going to try to keep you exactly where they are. But I learned in my own life, my own personal experience, at first, the only thing that was holding me back was me. This is encouragement. I want to bring encouragement to y'all. I don't care who you are. But whatever your gift is, your talents, if you're not pushing it, why are you expecting others to push for you? If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna be your your biggest own critic and get on yourself, if you're not gonna invest in what you need, you, whether you cooking or a musician or whatever it is, you know we all got different gifts, different talents. I, I like to say, but if you if you gonna think you're gonna keep going by in this life nickel and diamond, I like to say, trying to take the shortcut all the time. Don't want to buy this, don't want to buy that. If you won't even invest in you, why are you expecting so many others to invest in you? If you're not going to take what you're doing serious, why are you expecting everybody else to take you serious? Who going to hold you back other than yourself? So many people don't waste their life depending on somebody else. Man, you ain't got back with me yet. Now, are you still... Uh, Excuses, excuses, excuses. You know what excuses are? I, I like to say I got off my brother Marvell. Excuses ain't nothing but a, a crutch, a setup for failure. And as long as you keep making excuses, you're going to find yourself year after year after year after year still in the same spot. But who going to hold you back other than you? I see people getting mad at other folks. Man, they never did come through for me. Man, I was depending on them for this. Man, when you look at people that get stuff done, look at their mentality. Look at their setup. They don't care who stopped helping them. If they if they was if they was looking for somebody to help them and that person stopped, I'm talking about the ones that get it done now. They keep pressing. They get out there and they just keep going. They keep going. And no matter what come they way, what hurdle done got in the way, what roadblock done got in the way, they step right over and they keep going. They keep pressing. Y'all remember when I did that video call? There's a point when you passed talking about I'm just trying. You know, you get, if you keep doing something and you getting it down, after a while, you got it. You know, I oh, man, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Some people use I'm trying as a as a as a crutch to just stay where they are, man. Like I, I use the piano for an example. I ain't trying to learn the piano. I don't spend so much time on it. I learned the piano. It ain't no try no more. It's like when I sit down at it, oh man, it's it's just awesome. But then I look back over all those years, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the, the cry outs, the won't help from others, and they turned their back on me. Wouldn't show me this. Didn't want to teach me that. And I instead of just instead of just sitting up having a pity party, you know what I did? Got it. There's DVDs. There's music books. There was people online I found out about YouTube. Boy, I wish I would have had YouTube when I was coming up. <laughs> I would be way further along the line than that when you have brothers on here that was. 
just giving out so much information, showing you so much for free. Oh, but that's a problem. Now, a lot of people don't want to show you nothing, especially for free. When you start giving back to others, I like to call it investing in others because I love investing in other people. But that's how you really start growing. But who going to hold you back other than you? Don't you know you can be your biggest enemy? You can fall off into a depression. You can fall off into this, this um, disease that's been going around, man. I even hate to talk about it. This, this, this disease, man, done affected so many people. You know what it's called? Laziness. <laughs> it's, an, it's infected a lot of people. I see a lot of people, they only problem, most of their problem is laziness. So I want to, if somebody looking at this video, they don't even know why I'm doing this video, but it just hit me this way. Get up. Stop waiting on other folks. I'm reminded of my big brother Rodney on her Rodney man PP drawings. When I look at where you at now, brother, because I know you're looking at this video, that company you started and the, the benefits you are reaping. I don't remember one time hearing you tell me, man, I just gave up. Man. It wasn't for me. All I heard you doing was pressing on. You knew that it was for you. So you went to work. You got out, you got off somebody else's job. And now look at you. Every time I turn around, you gaining another account. And I ain't talking about no little rinky dink accounts. You gaining businesses and and and, and um places down here where I stay is yeah, they up there. Yeah, they, they up there. So man, I'm proud of you. So this is just to encourage who you, whoever you are and what you doing in life. If you haven't got there, what's gonna hold you back? Other than you getting there. Are you putting in the time? Do you believe in you like you really think you do? Now let me ask you another question. Do you believe in the most high? And let me ask you another question. Do you trust the most high? Do you have a relationship with the most high? Do you know the most high? I didn't say did you know of the most high. Do you know the most high? Because let me tell you something, the most high will supply your every need. If it's in the most high's will, who going to stop you? You know some people right now, they're not, they not being blessed because they too scared to jump. They too scared. Because they scared if they jump, they don't know where they're going to land at. I got to a point where I ain't care where I landed at no more. You know why? Because wherever I fell at, I was gonna I was gonna figure out how to get up and keep going from it. I didn't care if I had to break two of my both of my legs. I was ready to keep on moving. But when you have that mentality being scared to fall, I remember I think that was Steve Harvey said, in order to succeed, you gotta be willing to fail. But the problem with most folks is they're not willing to fail. They scared of falling. And when you have that scary mentality, first of all, faith and fear don't mix no way. But when you have that scary mentality, you going to stop you from getting to where you need to be. So don't let you keep you down. Sometimes you got to just get into it with you. Tell that you. JT used to get into it with Jerome all the time. So I know how that go. Cause that old flesh, that old man, that old, that old mentality. I always want to come back and then, yeah, you you ain't gonna be able to make it. Hey, you got this. Whoever you are, who gonna stop you from getting to where you need to get other than you?